games for, uh, well, the videos for, uh, <laughs> for YouTube on Lundra, so I'm kind of double posting. Plus, I'm starting to get lightly burned out on Lundra. So I'm going to move to the microphone here and let the intro go. Wow, with that HD link, you can really hear it, because I used to think that it, uh, well, I thought that it used to say, you know, thanks for playing Atari, but it says Activision Classics. Well, of course, my hearing isn't the best either, so. So this video will be a little long, because we're playing all 30. <sighs> See, here we go through the list. Um, let's see here. This one I have. Chopper Command. Let's see. The rest on the list I do not. I know I'm just kind of, you know, going through them real fast, but we'll see the videos. Dragster, I hear there's actually an interesting community behind this for, uh, for speedruns. Some good, some okay. It's, yeah. I have Enduro. I used to play this. This was rented way back in the day, but I don't have it. That one, I don't. Freeway, um, I don't have. Of course, well, technically, I kind of have these, but the, the originals. This is pretty much uh, Why the Chicken Cross the Road. It's like a different version of uh, Frogger. Frostbite. I had this, but it was stolen. I need to get it replaced. Free Hero. I also used to have this one as well, but it was stolen. Of course, there are some sports games. Ice Hockey. Kaboom! Keystone Capers. I actually used to have this one as well, but it was stolen. Laser Blast. Almost um, similar to Chopper Command. Mega Mania. I consider this a uh, type of Star Trek game. <laughs> Pitfall. I used to have this one as well, but it was stolen. Yeah. Black Attack, I've never had this one. River Raid, I've never had River Raid 1 or 2. But I did play them from uh, renting them from the store a long time ago. Of course, River Raid 2. Sequest, Submarine Game. Skiing, another sports game. Sky Jinx. Pretty much have to uh, go around these poles. Spider Fighter. I used to have this one. But of course, it was stolen. Stampede. Never had it. Star Master. I never. Actually, my sibling has this one. I never did. And of course, tennis. Another sports game. So we're going to readjust things here to get to the start. We're going to start with Atlantis. Uh, looks like there's something. Uh, we're just going to do normal. Um, there's really no information page on this, is there? 
Yeah, Activision. Thanks for playing Activision Classics or something like that. Okay. So I gotta control... Uh... As I get. Ooh. So every time when you press left or right on the controller is how you control your uh, your uh, guns. If you remain stationary, ooh. oh. But if you remain stationary, you actually shoot the middle one, which is gone. Press left on the controller. It shoots to the left, and then press on the right of the controller of the, of the stick as you shoot your. Uh... Oh, oh, oh gosh! As you shoot your right cannon. This is going pretty fast. I think after a certain amount of points, you may get a gun back. Oh! I think I lost. I think I lost. Let's try that again. Snap. Wow, this looks so wonderful in HD. If only they had an HD uh, pound link for the original Nintendo. Oh god! Oh god! I lost my middle gun placement. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's getting faster. That's the Atari for you. I think I'm doing pretty good. No, my metal gun. Oh boy, that's Oh, I got it back. Oh, 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 oh. Not doing so good. Oh my gosh! I couldn't get that! <laughs> I got one more thing left to defend. Oh. So, yeah, whatever they destroyed down the water. <laughs> that was so fast. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, you gotta either press select button or to start. Well, pretty much select button. And just go back to the. Actually, audio. Um, there's really no. To be just. No, I don't need that. I think that's awesome. I used to play the living snot out of this game. With how scratched up it is, it still plays nice. Well, so far. Because I used to play it in the PS1, but I'm. Pop on PS2. So, Barnstorming. I remember playing this. I never was good at it, but we're going to... Hey, Chomper, Chomp Past. Uh, I guess... Normal mode. Because it normally gets difficult anyways. Um... Oh! Square is to change between the black and white. Uh, yeah, start King game. Whoop. Oh. 
So pretty much, you know, the object is just a barnstorm. You gotta dodge all the objects. The birds, the windmills. And I'm very terrible at this. puts these barns here like this? I have no idea. Oh. That's pretty much it, really. Uh, some games on here, I remember, are like this, so you have to press select and restart the current game. This was, was, always will be. Dim graphics, though. I'm sure there's people out there that do, but it's just... Mm. Yeah, each and every time when you quit a game, you have to go back to the menu, just like this. Next up, Chopper Command. my f One of my favorite shooter games on the Atari 2600. Um, Let's just do good that level. Activision down below. Copyright 1982. This is going to be... Oh my gosh. 40 years old soon. <laughs> yeah, I had to do... I had to literally count. Um... Hold on here. There we go. Yeah, because uh, your object is to protect your convoy while shooting enemy uh, baddies out of the air. As you can see the map down below. It doesn't quite distinguish between which is what, but whatever you have left over when you uh, clear the level, if you can actually survive, is the points you actually gain. Let's see why of how long I can actually go on this game. But, just like every Atari fashion, the longer you do this game, the more it moves, the faster it gets. Which we'll see the distinct uh, difference here. Yeah, you can just remain stationary too, and they'll come right to you. Um, but yeah. Let's do that again. Well, yeah, you can stay stationary and things just come right on to you. But, of course, that's kind of the slower route. Whoops. <laughs> I have not played this game in such a long time, but I'm still no excuse. Actually... Let's put it back on A. 
Now this is pop racing! Sorry. Um... I won't, I won't do something like that again, I promise. Whoops. Yeah. Last life. Oh. But that's Chopper Command in a nutshell. Very wonderful game. Alright, next up, Cosmic Computer. I don't quite remember what this entails. Of course, the normal. I, 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 advanced, are you kidding? I'm not that good. Copyright 1984. Um, okay. Oh. I think I gotta land this. There we go. Nice enemy sprites. Okay. Oh, yeah, he can speed up. Okay. Can you go? Yeah, he can. Ooh, yep, okay. Okay, so it looks like I guess I go faster and spend my fuel. I don't think I've never really paid attention to this game. How much fuel does it give me? Okay, so it fills me back up. So pretty much at the ship at the beginning, you've got to make sure that you press up on it, and then you got to make, make sure that you land it okay in order for the mothership to spawn this, uh... This fighter thing, whatever it is. I don't know what I'm even I'm remotely attacking. Can... 
I can't get into it. Well, I don't understand the game, so sorry about that. I'll have to look it up later. I'll have to play this again sometime and understand it. <sighs> Next crackpots. Which I think you go around with the guy on top and you knock down the crackpots on the spiders. So it's pretty much you remain king of the hill. While making sure that uh, spiders don't get up. It's pretty simple and basic. Ooh. And of course, like every other Atari game, things, you know, changes things up. Oh my. Oh, 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 we're, we're, we're not doing good now. Uh, ooh, my, my controller? Are these spiders or termites? Hmm. Well, green now. Oh, looks like we reset. Oh, we're getting faster. Oh my gosh. Mm. Yeah, the control seems a little stiff. Oh. Oh, that was a nice score. Yeah, control's a little odd. I wonder. Nope, can't, can't use the analog stick on my groove shot controller, which is too bad. Uh oh. I'm getting lower. Oh my! I got a triple. I think I'm doing okay. Yep, now things are getting faster. Oh, one got in. So, I'll end this there because it'll take forever, but that's pretty much crackpots in a nutshell. It gets faster uh, to a certain point, but then things just get very, very out of hand. Next up, Dolphin. Um... Let's, let's go with the first level here. Okay, so touching the octopus.
I'm not sure what I'm exactly doing here. So it looks like I have to uh, go through the seahorses. Okay, so I understand it now. You gotta go through the obstacle course that uh, that is laid in front of you, and go the way that um, that the arrow points. I guess it's kind of self-explanatory, but yeah, copyright 1983. <laughs> yeah, never really understood Dolphin too well, so. Hmm. And of course, Dragster. Um, steerable or straight? I guess this is straight ahead. I think either left or right or up and down shifts the gears on the dragster. Yeah. Oh, there's a reset button. L1. Whoops. Oh. that time. I am terrible at this. I just don't understand Dragster. Whoops. Oh, I got something. Speed run that. And Enduro. This game can go on and on. This is just straightforward. Very self explanatory. Of course. Oh. Gotta reach a goal, I think. Without hitting everything. I'm not very good at this, so I'm gonna be hitting a lot of things. Yeah, things... I forgot. Things change. I think I just went to a snow region. Ah. Of 
course, if you let up on the on the gas or acceleration, you control the car a little bit more. It's starting to get uh, dusk or dawn, whatever. I can't remember. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I'll admit that. Just when I thought, yeah, now it's nighttime. Yeah, so you gotta pass a hundred cars in order to reach the end goal. Oh, did I glitch through that one by accident? Yeah, now it gets more difficult. Um, I think there's a certain frame time limit uh, built into the game where it just switches uh, between uh, certain intervals. Either that or when you pass a certain amount of cars. I really can't remember. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Yep, that's it. <laughs> I mean, back when I was growing up, before Nintendo, you know, we got a Nintendo in the house. This was our uh, our entertainment. Because when we had an Atari 2600, we thought we were living at the top of the world. But when uh, mom and dad got us. A Nintendo in 1989. We uh, thought what we were the kings of the top of the world because it was uh, Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt uh, pack with the uh, light gun. Um, of course, the object of this is to uh, take the fish out of the pond while the shark thing uh, or the giant fish whatever that is does not uh, eat your uh, you know, does not eat your fish so that we can get points and the computer is very brutal from what I remember I mean, this is primitive fishing. And I do believe the lower that you go, the more points you get. Come on. Ah, dang it. Okay, I'm just going to have to go. <laughs> as I cry as my fish is eaten. Oh, I can't hit anything. Come on, hook. Hook. Well, he's having a slight hard time, too. Well, the, the AI is. There we go. Oh my gosh, I can't hook anything. All the fish are on my side, too, and I can't hook nothing. Yeah. Oh, I think I got it. You. Well, it goes up to 99 points. That's when you win. Because it'll take forever. <sighs> no, 
now. Freeway. Why did the chicken cross the road? Yes. Expressway. Long Island, New York, 3 a.m. It's pretty much just up and down. If you hit something, it just sends you back. It's pretty much a very basic frogger. But as you can see, things get slightly faster. Ace, nah. We'll go back to freeway and we'll do the very last one. The uh, okay. Long Island Expressway, New York, three a.m. Oh my god! Well, that's not messing around, is it? Oh, whoops. Nope. Oh, they're random? Well, yeah, so they speed up and this... Speed up and speed down. It's got a mind of its own, okay. Ow. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, my head? Well, I guess that's the hitbox. I can't believe I just did that one. Whoops. I got a little too outlandish. Got it. Thought I would I could do it. But yeah, the uh, the trigger button doesn't do anything. It just up and down. I think I'm doing okay. But, uh, let's, uh... I don't know how many lives I have. Let's find out. Hmm. I just want to see what year came up on the Activision thing, but, uh... But it, it, it didn't bring up anything. Now for frostbite. I wish that my so-called friend did steal my stuff from me. He sold a lot of games. Couldn't get them back. Of course, the object is uh, 
is to light up each and every um, block of ice without being pushed into the water and to build the igloo in order to survive the night. You have to manually go over and go into your igloo. Because you have to do all this within a certain time limit without freezing to death. Oh! The bird got me? Okay. Once the bird nabs you, that's pretty much it, I guess. Oh my gosh. I guess I better curb my enthusiasm there. And of course, things... Whoops. Just begin to move a little bit faster. There's more uh, critters and objects on the screen. But that's pretty much it. We're going to restart again. I actually got that. Um, oh boy. I'm losing points here. Oh no! I, I got too enthusiastic. I used to play this thing for hours. I easily could, but, eh. Ah, okay. But that's... <laughs> that's frostbite. You can keep going on and on and on with it. And things do get faster. More critters pop up on the screen. I think a polar bear eventually shows up. I can't remember. Friends, Amon's, Monaco. You know what? Let's do Monaco. I'm sure it's the most difficult one, but yeah, whatever. Um, oh, yep. Whoops. Hmm. Pretty much control up and down. Don't hit any of the cars. If you let up on, on your gas, or acceleration, you kind of control it a little of a brake. Oh my gosh. So, there's some flashing. I'm sorry. There's also those things. And that. I'm not sure exactly what the goal is. Just, just race. to go in, back in time if I keep going fast here. But that's pretty much all that game is. You keep going and going and going. Well, at least that's what it feels like. I'm sure adjusting around the uh, difficulty will probably change some stuff, but uh, it'll take too much time. Hero. I used to play the living dickens out of this game. Uh, of course, the object is to go around and rescue people that are in the labyrinth. And I need to go AFK real fast. The cat wants out.
Okay, Stormcaller wanted out. He was crying. Yes, copyright 1984. Whoops. Um, you can actually, uh... Press up, you fly around, but you also use power. When you go to a wall, you can actually press down to release a bomb. So go down, just like that. Make sure you don't knock off yourself like I did. But puzzles and everything, yes, yeah, see? Now you gotta use your fuel. This game's pretty fun, just like Haunted House. Of course, you have a limited amount of uh, bombs to use. Things get difficult more and more. Now you understand why I could play this for hours. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. Can I go up? Go over. Well, this ain't good. Yeah. life. That's pretty much it. Yeah, copyright 1984. Of course, ice hockey. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Not a huge fan of uh, the old uh, ice hockey games. Which color was I? Oh, I was. Um, um. Yeah. So of course, you know, object is uh, you know just grab the puck, try to get it in. Things uh, change around a little as uh, <laughs> as the puck goes, you know, from higher to lower. Can be kind of challenging. Ooh, that wasn't good. Ooh, got it. I think the points go up to nine. But yeah, the AI on here is. It's it's not for it's not very forgiving. And you actually can knock the other guy down with the uh, action uh, button. Oh, it's dirty. minutes for slashing and hawking. But yeah, it can go on and on. It can be very ruthless. <sighs> hmm. 
Next kaboom. Did I do boxing? Hold on here. I, f I think I forgot to do boxing. Oh my gosh, how did I do that? Yeah, let's go back to boxing. Oh my gosh. So I just realized, like, wait, I somehow skipped a game. It's like, well... Of course, very self-explanatory. Points go up to 99. The AI can be very, very nasty. If I can get them just right. <laughs> Got him. KO'd. Okay, so sorry about that. I don't know how I skipped boxing. Eh, whatever. Put back to it. I got it. Because I was thinking here, I was like, wait a second. My memory, which is like a goldfish, is telling me that I forgot something. But now let's go to, to Kaboom. And of course, you have to make sure the bombs do not drop. In order to start the game, you have to press the the action button. Every time when you miss a bomb, you lose one of your shields. Makes it more difficult. As you can see. Yeah, it, it gets difficult pretty fast. Well, that's game. Well, he won. But yeah, it's pretty self explanatory. I don't spend too much time on it. Never did. Keystone Capers. Now this, like I said, I used to have, but a friend stole it. It's either this or... Yeah, I think it was this, and they also took Lock and Chase. The object is a jump around. You are an officer. And you have to collect all the stuff that the burglar left out. And, you know, of course, you gotta avoid the obstacles. If you jump close to the stairs, I forgot you can actually uh, get pretty high. Yeet! That was close. I think those are bombs. 
that you have to obstacle over. Of course, the elevator is not down. Get you. Go back to jail. Because this thing does get harder and harder. Like jumping into them. The dramatic. Yeah, see, there's a there's a shopping cart. So far, so good. Oh, it didn't let me uh, go in. No matter, I'm gonna get him. See if anything else changes. Oh, things are getting faster. Yeah, right there's something on the ceiling. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can actually duck. Yeah, because this is where things get more difficult. used to do point battles on this game with uh, friends ages ago when I did have the game. And I know I had the game because I played it. Oh, he's going to make his escape. I actually jumped to that. But you can keep playing it more and more, and it gets more difficult, and it just uh, eventually you'll lose, you know, like, like every Atari game when it gets faster and faster. But yeah. <sighs> Gosh, I miss playing Keystone Capers on the Atari 2600. Laser Blast. Something like Chopper Command, like I said. Citadel level. Of course, we'll start out basic. And we shall start it. Ah, uh, yeah. That's, uh... The object is to blow these up. Because you can do quick sniping. But yeah, those can shoot any angle. And... You can shoot any angle of yourself, and things get way more challenging. And, yeah, the AI is very, very unforgiving on this game. It, it does not care about, uh, about your shenanigans. It's a fun game. Of course, wherever you are, you know, if you're going left, you know, you can shoot left. If you're stationary, you can shoot down the middle. But, uh, you know, press, uh, you know, left or right, you can't get the gist of it. Ooh, I'm surprised I actually got that. But yeah, things get faster and faster. Wow. I'm surprised I got that one.
Mega Mania. Guided missiles or straight missiles? Let's do straight missiles. Because guided missiles is just, uh... Of course, every time when you fire a missile, you cannot uh, spam shoot. So you have to wait until it hits something or goes off the screen. Kind of like a moving uh, space invaders. Oh, yeah, one shot death. Got it. Yeah, it gets interesting. <laughs> oh god! Oh, yeah, it gets it gets difficult fast. So now you know why I like to do. Uh, straight missiles, because it makes it more difficult. Because guided missiles, it's way too easy. Of course, you know, it's always easy in the hard modes on Atari. And of course, some games just have plain straight up uh, hard. And of course, like, uh, you know, Keystone Capers, it gets gradually, uh, you know, it goes from easy and gradually hard. And Pitfall, I, yeah. Who has not played this game? Uh, but yeah, I used to own this, got stolen. But I'm slowly replacing a lot of my games that my ex-friend stole from me. Whoops. Ah! Well, that wasn't nice. It's a good experience. Oh, come on! How can I fail at... I'm not getting the rope. Ah. Whoops, I could have. Come on. Hmm. This is aggravating. to press up and then press down to get off the rope okay silly me whoops 1982 this came out and a lot of these games I got over the years that were just cheap because this one I actually got for 10 cents whoops oh my gosh Okay, yeah, so you gotta press up right at the moment when you get onto the... On the vine. And of course, if I can actually control my thumb better. Now I can actually jump, but... Yeah. I never was good at Pitfall. And I still am not, but I still love it. It's a love-hate thing, almost. Well, actually, you say a love-love thing. Ugh. What's that on the floor? Oh, it's my sandal looks in the way. Plaque attack. Fast. Yeah, we're just going normal speed. Object is is that you're controlling a uh, toothpaste and protecting your teeth from uh, unwanted. Uh, whoops. From unwanted food. And of course, you do have limited ammunition. I don't know. Yeah, you can really 
not get hurt, but you have to protect your teeth. Yeah, pretty much what do you have left over? There's a certain time limit for each level, so. And the game can be very unfair. Because when it disappears, yeah, you go up and down. And now we're battling hot dogs. But, um, when you're thing here, I'll just let it hit a tooth. Oh. See? Black attack. Just lost a tooth. Oh. Yeah, it, it changes back and forth. Like, like you see, it gets, some, it gets difficult. Yeah, at the end there, the game can be very unforgiving. I can just throw an extra food and just destroy your teeth. Now, french fries. And of course, just like any other Atari game, it gets faster and faster. Oh, we're slowly becoming toothless. What am I doing? I gotta protect these. Yeah, it's gonna get fast here. Yeah. Now it gets very... Oh, no. Strawberries are... Oh, actually, very sugar-sensitive, so... But yeah, you have a certain time limit on each and every uh, stage now. I thought uh, you had ammunition to spare, but you really you kind of don't. I mean, you can destroy everything on the screen. Oh. There's really nothing to protect now. Other than just get points. Of course, I may be telling the rules a little, you know, difficult. I mean, not difficult, wrongly. It makes it sound difficult. I'm getting ahead of myself. But, uh, but yeah. 1983. You lost a plaque. That's a very nasty plaque, man. <laughs> to rot your teeth like that. And River Raid. Never had River Raid. Of course, who has not played River Raid? This is a very, very wonderful classic. I'm kind of decent at it. Whoops. Of course, the object is to get as far as you can. Make sure you hit the fuel canisters. You can actually speed up by pressing up. Whoops. I I never was good at this. Yeah. I'm gonna try at least get far. Yeah, I never was good at River Raid. So sorry for not playing it for too long of a time frame. And of course, River Raid 2 coming on up. We're almost done.
Oh, okay. Well, this is odd. Stood River Raid 2 and his controls, so yeah, that's just me. Sequest Submarine. Oh, I hear some doves out and about. Yeah, so the object is to collect divers, destroy the fish, and there is actually a chance you, you can even kill a diver. And see? Oh, I guess not. I thought you could. Whoops. It's amazing how a giant fish like that will destroy the submarine. But of course, when you run out of oxygen, you just go right back on up. But it makes you stationary and things will, uh... Whoops. Oh my. Ah, uh, well, I could've. That's an army. Oh, I can't. I actually hit that. Here, let's 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 do this a little bit more. Cause I actually used to play this a lot on on this uh on this CD. Where's it? Die? There we go. Oh, I went too, fa went <laughs> too fast. I went too close. No, not today. Oh, oh, nice. I actually beat it. Well, that level at least. Yeah. But it gets a little bit faster, you know, but just like every other Atari game. Thirty games for the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Sking. Of course, it's very Twenty Gates. No, Mister. Of course, go through uh, Twenty Gates in order to uh, win. Wait, that's oh, the, that's a reset button. So just control the character, you know, back and forth. Looks like the yeah, the the fire button is the reset. It's no ski free, but uh, yeah. Something. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Wiped out. <laughs> yeah, that's not that's very really self explanatory. But there was a fan of it. And of course, I have to put some sports games on these. I kind of wish that it would put something a little bit better. But, I mean, it's still enjoyable. Don't get me wrong. It's just, mm, I'm just not really much into sports games. There's only a very, very few. Yeah, let's pull it. Yeah, let's pull it. Let's... Oops. And I do believe the trigger button. 
Oops. Uh-oh. 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 This is speed up. Not doing a good job. If this was a normal plane, man, that'd be ball of fire. Yeah, there is a time limit too. As you can see, I lost. It's really self-explanatory, but it never was my favorite kind of game at all, period. But if I ever do see it on a deal to buy, yeah, I'll buy it just to, you know, collect stuff, because I'm trying to get back into retro game you know, collecting. Actually, I am getting back into it, but very, very slowly. Spider Fighter, I used to have this. I used to play it a lot. I used to play it for hours. Uh, this is like an old friend coming to. You can actually hold down... Ooh. It's kind of like an advanced... Uh... uh um, Vansa Space Invaders. And you just keep going and going. And every time when you kill the spider, another one spawns. Yeah. Of course, I'm a huge sucker for shooter games. I'm a huge sucker for shooter games. down the trigger button. Yeah, when you kill the spider, then everything else just kind of loses its mind. I pretty much kind of consider that the mother spider and the rest of the eggs, and when the, the mother spider is destroyed, then the kids kind of go on a revenge you know, spree. Playing this late at night in a darkened room just by yourself and you know, with the lights just flashing, it's awesome. That's one thing that the Atari was really good for, just sitting at, you know, in your room at night just to, with all the, everything flashing. Doesn't get you, uh, doesn't give anyone epilepsy. It's just, uh, you know, this, this kind of stuff. Yeah, also, too, um, if you take too long, I forgot, the spider was actually going after one of those bombs up over on the top right. The spider's one. I wish I had centipede and millipede on, on, uh, on something like this. But I need to see if there's more uh, Atari Classic Game deals out there just like this. And of course, Stampede. First cowboy rodeo game, I think it is. Sidekick level. Of course, we could have gone to Pilgrim, you know, for a for John Wayne reference, but. Eh. Whoops. Of course, the object is to get the cattle. I think the ones that match you. Yeah. Um. I never really quite understood this. It, it is fun. But I think also too it's pixel perfect. Oh yeah, you, you can get them all. So yeah, you gotta. Ooh. Okay, so yeah. Um, wait, the black ones count? Yeah, so pretty much, uh, I remember now what the goal is. You got to get as many 
cattle uh, round up as, as much as he can while knocking the other ones back into play, or, or should I say bouncing them back into play. Um, it gets very tedious. It gets It's fine, but it's just not my kind of game. And things go faster and faster, and yeah, and, and the the dark cows or the cattle that came, you yeah, you gotta get those or else you'll lose a, a point like a, like how I did. Next up, Star Master. Ensign, leader, wing commander. No. Oh, an ensign. We'll go ensign. As, as when you fire is when you lose points. And of course, down is up and up is down, just like a flight simulator. Where are they? Um, okay. There's really nothing to... Hold on, let's reset. Being like that, but okay. Uh, I'm gonna look at the preview game that pops up on the left, see what's going on there. Star Master. Anything? Well, last but not least, tennis. Uh, fast speed. Yeah, let's do some fast speed. Let's do normal tennis. <laughs> Actually, I don't know what normal is for tennis. I've never really watched a tennis match. Um. Whoops. Looks like you set the ball. Pretty much Pong. Tennis Pong. Oh. Hey. I mean, this is actually pretty fun. Oh. You don't really hit the, the trigger button. To uh, to hit the the tennis ball back, you just hit it when you just to serve. So that's yeah, just pretty much just different variation of pong, really. A little bit more difficult pong. Ball go faster? Or is it, no, I'm I'm just not good at this. <gasps> what the? Okay, that's enough of that.
Uh, so that's pretty much, uh, this, this game, uh, pack in a nutshell. The full game, uh, for the PlayStation 1 is called A Collection of Activision Classic Games for the Atari 2600. Includes 30 games, and it has Activision, it's rated E for everyone. And this is brought out in 1998 at Activision, on Atari 2600. Um, relive video game his or, or excuse me, relive video game history at about a buck game. This uh, baby's fully loaded. Yeah, this was actually cheap. This was uh, with tax and everything back in the day was about like thirty something, like thirty one, thirty two dollars, whatever it is, like thirty one some dollars. I can't quite remember. But this literally was a buck a game. But at about a buck a game, this baby's fully loaded with thirty of your all time video game favorites. Well, it's not all time. In the first and largest arcade collection of its kind, Activision Classics gives you all the gameplay of the original Atari 2600 games. Now for your PlayStation game console, Activision Classics, it's serious old school fun. Yes, it's seriously uh, old school fun. It's still fun to this day, but I have my specific favorites on there. Uh, so, I shall end the stream there. I'd like to thank those of, that will watch this from start to finish. Please give me a follow on here. I will be playing more retro games in the future. And I will be uploading this onto my YouTube page at Dirtcat. So, you can find me here on Twitch, on twitch.tv slash dirtcat underscore. This is Aaron here, signing out for now. You all have to go now. Take care and stay safe. See you later.